and when I start dancing, I become like a, a different person. I may have the biggest problems, or I may be stressed. In Britain's Got Talent uh, semi-finalist, also X Factor. Uh, C Welcome to the London Magic, the show that aims to discover every fascinating side of London that makes us fall in love with it. Today we are experiencing something very unique and our main topic will be dancing. You will learn everything that you need to know regarding dancing with highly qualified professionals. So stay tuned because we have a lot of things to show you and something very exciting and a bit scary for me. We will do a dance challenge, yes? And I hope I won't get embarrassed, but you will learn more later about it because now I'm gonna have here my guest, Francis Cardoso. Welcome! Hi, how are so you, nice to meet you finally. Thank you for having me in, in your person. show. Thank you very much for coming here today with us. It's a pleasure to have you here. You have done so many things in dancing and not only that, you're doing so, so many great things, but I will let you speak about them because you will say them better than me. <laughs> And so the purpose of this video will be first of all to learn a bit about you okay. uh, because it's interesting always to know your background and what you have achieved in dancing, how easy or difficult it is to dance, but also for people that are considering either to start dancing or maybe to become a professional dancer, I think that this video will be very helpful for them. So are we ready? Okay, well, <laughs> uh, my name is Francis Cardoso, as you know, I've been a dancer professional since the age of 14, so I started in Madeira, Portugal, at the casino of Madeira with the choreographer Shan Leslie, ex Blue Bell dancer and Moulin Rouge dancer. From then, I kept, you know, going further and further until I reached my own company, my own, uh, you know, shows, doing carnivals, doing everything, traveling the world, end up being Britain's Got Talent uh, semi-finalist also X Factor, the CEO of Madeira Fashion Week, and but so, so, so on, so much to tell in so little time. This is all we want, and we're ready to make it. Open those doors, and we'll come out. But regarding dancing, you know, uh, dancing is uh, something that you have a passion for. And for the youngsters and people that want to carry on and want to do this as dancing, I just tell them, go with your dreams, don't ever give up. I'm nearly 50 and I'm still, you know, chasing my dream. And there's no age, no limit. So do what you love and never stop. Oh, I love this! <laughs> it would be something that I could close the video, but I won't because we have so many things to talk about. So, I want... It's amazing because you have done so many things. First of all, you managed to be at semi-finals at Britain God's Talent. And this is like a huge achievement because there are thousands of people that apply for these kind of shows. Yeah. And, are, you know, like arriving in that specific position is really, really amazing. So well done to you. Thank you. So how was that experience? Like for both that and X Factor, like there are huge productions, there is massive exposure. How was that it as an was, experience for you? It was a gift from God and it was really oh. an amazing experience because, uh, as you know, a lot of people do uh, apply for it 
and it was my wife that did it and we never we never thought we we're gonna end up when I saw myself I was already you know uh, on a semi-finalist we had a standing ovation from Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden and Piers Morgan and uh, it was just like a, a, a dream a magical moment that opened so many doors straight through that went to X Factor where I you know did the last 15 over the 25 category and I end up onto the last 15 before boot camp uh, which I had also amazing uh, exposure and experience then I end up doing come down with me couples and so on this kind of a shows do open doors and I recommend people not to be afraid and believe in your dreams to go into these shows because you never know what can happen Wow so if you would say one thing that has stayed in your mind like apart from the exposure etc but like from this experience it's like what is it for example was it like too hard like the schedule was too intense was it difficult sometimes for you where you were wondering oh my god what did i get myself into uh, yes <laughs> you know it is it was the adrenaline the uh, the, the whole energy of are we going to make it? Are we not? The whole drama with dancers, you know, because in this lab there's always drama, the girls, the this and that, and it has to be perfection. But yes, it was absolutely uh, amazing. One of the things that I always remember is just I always thought, my gosh, you know, I am a dancer. I've been singing also for a long time to give the voice on my shows. But I said, would I? Would I step into that show, into that performance, and I open my mouth and I get a buzz, that was my big fear. Because I give the voice to my show. I consider myself more a dancer than a singer, but ever since I had Simon Cow giving me a standing ovation and all the judges seeing me performing, singing and dancing, I never stopped believing in myself. Wow. And this yeah. is this is so nice like because like you need to believe in yourself in order to achieve anything else. Yeah. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't apply to different opportunities. It's you true. won't appear, you won't grab the different opportunities. So it's really important. And it's one of the things that makes you never give up. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna get here your dancing partner okay. and you're gonna show us something amazing. So you're gonna see what you can achieve in a professional level. I'm sure that you're very familiar with dancing with the stars or strictly, strictly come dancing and so on. So this is a professional level dancing and afterwards we will do our quick challenge between us. Obviously, do not compare me with anyone of them <laughs> or anyone from the Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> it's gonna be the experience that you will see from someone that actually knows very, very basic, that haven't uh, danced for ages, but anyone like you could probably achieve those results. So let's go straight let's in. Go. I'm the day she by I'm the way. I'm very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being today with us. We don't have too much time, but do you want to say like two words about you? You're a dancer? Yes. <laughs> What kind of dances do you? Um, well, yeah. heels, of course. I love Ooh, some heels. I see a lot of flexibility um, there. Okay, we're both very flexible. I, I've seen that <laughs> often in your videos. So, heels, um, I do commercial a lot and hip hop. Amazing. Let's go straight in in your performance and okay. I'm looking forward Fantastic. to look at that. Okay. <laughs>
another thing that I know about you is that you lived in so many countries. So obviously you are from Portugal, but also you've been in South Africa and obviously now in the UK. Regarding life in UK, how has that treated you? How difficult it is for a performer, for an, for an artist to survive here and actually to be able to make a living? Because I can imagine that the beginning was super difficult for you. Yeah, when I started in 2007, it was really hard because mm -hmm. I didn't know no one. Yeah. I had to do any kind of different opportunities. I ended up being in very different agencies and I ended up doing uh, promotions at Selfridges, you know, promoting perfumes and then I got into dancing and then how we grown. And here the opportunity is always there. This time now coming back here uh, is not as hard as before because mm. I had, uh, you know, built up contacts and yeah, I'm here strong enough to not giving up again. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And I like all the messages that you're giving us. And I think that I could be talking with you like for ages <laughs> but let's go to dancing now so for anyone that is considering to start dancing so someone that has never danced before and there are people that they're like dancing is not for me like I'm really like not good at dancing what would you advise them well now in our days everything is completely different than my time my time I have to go and look for the schools I have to go and look for the uh, industry now we've got all this uh, you know gadgets the phones the internet all that I recommend people that want to do this start looking on googling what kind of style they want what kind of dancing they want what kind of performer they want to be uh, you know just get ideas from them then is obviously the, the, the door open for you then to look for the right studio for the right teacher for the right style mm -hmm. you know we've got so much we can learn even from the internet things in nowadays that if you've got the passion and you've got the power to go on, just do it. Look any other alternative, every alternative that you have and never give up on your dreams. That's what I always say to Amazing. everyone. Amazing. And also like you don't even have to become a professional dancer. You can still dance just because you like it. Yeah. passion in you, it amazing. Is, it's really, really beautiful feeling and I'm so happy. I, didn't, I don't feel embarrassed, at least for now. I don't know what you think about it, but you will let us know <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. And what does uh, dancing offers to people? So if someone is not professional, but they just want to have a good time, what does it offer to someone? How does it make them feel? What it makes them feel uh, happy, young, energetic, positive everything that it brings good into your soul you know like i said you don't need to be a professional dancer but it's never too late there's people that start later and become their dreams come true so one of the things i was actually talking to nadeshi that you will see her just now uh, and she says uh, age is just a number it doesn't that is do anything. so, so, so true. if you like it just go for it you know as a uh, dancing it makes you feel amazing it helps you in every single way and when I start dancing I become like a, a different person I may have the biggest problems or I may be stressed but then I just let myself go and then wow it was worth it so this is another thing exactly that dancing offers you so apart from exercising and feeling you know that nice feeling in your mind like psychologically well as you said like the stress is gone it's just 
a very positive experience yes, and that's what I also felt like I used to dance ages ago wow. <laughs> like not a professionally at all but like I used to take like dancing classes around 10 years ago wow. and what I would feel is that that wow like every time that I would you know after a class of dancing I would feel exactly like that and it's everything it's the passion because you have to like that is the passion is the energy and then it's like what you're achieving to do with other people because when you're dancing with other people you don't communicate, you don't say, oh, now I'm going to turn you, now you're going to do this, now you're going to do that. But actually, it's the body language, the two people communicate, and then they achieve amazing things. And that for me was, wow, like when we were managing to do those nice turns or whatever, it's like, oh, oh my God, what did we achieve? And I think that this is a feeling that anybody can get really it's when they're dancing. Yes, it's the energy, it's the body language. Yeah, yeah. It's the, yeah, it's and I would feel that I can dance the whole night, and I just don't feel tired in my body because I have so much adrenaline. But if you put me, if you put me like to run at the same time, I would never be able to do that. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for today. One more thing. So, for example, people that are learning dancing here or anywhere else, basically, um, what is the opportunity for them to practice? Because, like a lot of things, you know, a lot of times someone may consider, oh, I'm just going to learn that, but then where I'm going to practice it, where I'm going to use it. What happens at that time? Well, for me, it all depends how it goes. You know. Uh, there's never, no, nothing stops you. I used to practice my, sp my splits in my bedroom because, uh, you know, I wanted so much to be flexible and I started late already. Mm -hmm. So I had to hold on uh, on a wall and kick, 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 <laughs> kick, 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 kick. And then go on my bed and try and push myself down to be able to do it. So wow. you can practice in the kitchen, you can practice in your bedroom, you can practice in the living room as long as you want to it doesn't stop you like i say your passion is the limit and also like a lot of times like in london specifically and we are today like in a dancing studio but a lot of times the dancing studios on their own like they organize a lot of events when you can dance with different people and also like there are so many other parties regarding specific dances that you can attend and that is the magic like yeah. you go there you practice you meet a lot of people so it's, it's an amazing thing to yeah. do It's just the, the energy. Yeah. It's, it's all and also, the energy. like, you push me. So yeah. he and guides yourself, me. And let yourself be led. That's what is uh, exactly. important. Don't tense, just yeah. let it go. So, basically, the role also of the male dancer is to lead. Yeah. So, he's yes. leading me with his hands, yeah. Yeah. with the tension. Yeah. And my role is to follow correctly. Yes. <laughs> Which we did really well. So, really well done. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Thank you for having me. This was great. This is another episode done and see you soon in the next one. Have, Have a night. night. And one, two, three. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.